But David encouraged himself in the Lord. 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 6. But David encouraged himself in the Lord. Dear child of God, when you were faced with distress, when you were before that situation and you do not know what to do, when everyone around you are fighting against you because they thought the blunder came from you, dear child of God, what do you do when you come to that point when everything was not going as planned? Encourage yourself in the Lord. The word of God says David was greatly distressed because the men were talking of stoning him. When you know without a doubt that you made a blunder literally, when you know that it was because of you that the company may be losing some money, when you know at that point in time that that contract may be slipping through your hands because of one simple error that you made, you come to that point when you realize that all of the things that is going wrong was because of you. When you realize that everything that had not been going so well was because of you. When you come to that point of realizing that every blame was coming upon you and you did your very best, you did all that you would do for the people and then you were receiving the blames when you come to that point of realizing that every finger was pointing against you and you had a good intention for everyone, when you come to that very point in your life that everyone around you was doing everything to fight you and you have come to that place of being distressed. He was distressed because for every single one he had had a good intention for, for every single one he had had a great plan for. He went out there to do something good for the people. And when things turned the other way, they were pointing their hands against him. They were speaking about stoning him. And then the word of God recorded that David encouraged himself in the Lord. When you are at that point, when everyone around you are having a bitter spirit against you, the word of God had made us known. It says each one was bitter in spirit. When you come to that point when everyone is having bitterness, is having wickedness, is having hatred, when everyone around you have turned against you and they are having malicious intent towards you, what do you do, dear child of God? David encouraged himself in the Lord. To encourage yourself in the Lord is to receive your strength from the Lord. You know that you have become the laughing star. You know everyone are mocking you at this point. You know everyone is amplifying the simple error that you had made. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Find strength in the Lord. When you have become the ridicule of the town, when everyone in the neighborhood are laughing at you, saying you cannot keep a marriage, when everyone in your neighborhood are laughing at you, saying you cannot train your children properly. Dear child of God, encourage yourself in the Lord because God has something that he is working at. When people think you cannot amount to anything any longer, I want you to know that you should encourage yourself in the Lord. When it seems as if the times of your blessings the times of your promotion, the times of your liftings have passed. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Encouraging yourself in the Lord means you are drawing strength from the Lord. The word of God says, but David found strength in the Lord is God. Remember when Sarah couldn't conceive? When Sarah couldn't conceive, the word of the Lord says, that she received strength to conceive and everything turned around. As soon as she received that strength to conceive, she would be able to judge him faithful who had promised. Dear child of God, I want you to draw strength from the Lord. 
when everything seems to be going opposite to what you have planned. Draw strength from the Lord and tell him, I know you are working something out and I refuse to faint. I know you have everything in plan. I know you have everything in order. I may not see it now, but I know there is something that will come at the end of the day that will cause me to rejoice. I may not understand the situation now, but you are setting me up to be noticed. You are setting me up to be blessed. Did you know when and after this situation had happened, David had double of everything. Even the enemy that thought they had taken the things from him, he was able to recover every single thing without missing any and also took that out of his oppressors. I want you to know that when God turned it around, even those who had fought against you, even those who were behind the whole thing from the very onset, would be relinquishing all that they have because God had given you their possession as well. This is what God did for David. But all he could do was to draw strength from the Lord. When Sarah thought nothing could happen again, she remembered that all I need is to draw strength from the Lord. And as soon as she received that strength, the word of God says she conceived. She received the strength to conceive. All you need to do right now, dear child of God, is to receive that strength. And God will give you the ideas and the way out. All you need to do is to encourage yourself in the Lord. And it will drop a suggestion in your spirit that will turn everything around. All you need to do is to look up to him and say, Father, I judge you faithful. I receive my strength from you. And you will discover everything that you had never thought would turn out the way it would, will start turning out for good. The word of God had clearly stated, it says, Be strong and courageous, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalms 31 verse 24. All you need to do is to be strong and courageous because you know who you have hope in because you know who you believe in because you know the only person that can turn the situation around you only need to draw strength from him and be strong you see in proverbs 24 verse 10 god's word have stated if you falter in a time of trouble it means that your strength is small if you faint in the time of oppression, it means that your strength is small. If you faint at that time you were faced with an opposition, it means your strength is small. So what you need to do is to draw strength from the Lord and say, Father, I trust you. I know there is something you are doing that I don't understand. But when everything turns around, I would have a cause to rejoice and tell him, Father, help me and strengthen me that I may be encouraged in this situation. And you will see how God will turn it around for you. So when you come to that point of being blamed, when you come to that point everyone is oppressing you, when you come to that point that every single one are opposing you, I want you to know that God has your strength. So encourage yourself in Him and you will see Him turn everything around for your good. When you come to that point when you do not know what to do, encourage yourself in Him. When you come to that point when you feel bad and you are wondering, how could I have made this blunder? Dear child of God, draw strength from the Lord and you will see Him work out something for you that would amaze you. It is well with you, dearly beloved. God bless you and shalom.